1987 or 1988 cult classic uh, Ghost Riders is here on Blu-ray from MVD Visual, which is about, as you could guess just by the name, Ghost Riders. Ghost Outlaws coming back for revenge. Uh, the movie starts off in like the old West days where an outlaw gang leader is about to be hung by a preacher. And he's kind of stopped by the sheriff a little bit. And then like his gang gets there, there's a big shootout. He ends up getting hung anyway. And then we go to the present time or the present at this time, 1987, 88, whatever it is. And uh, these people are kind of going out to have a good time. And the, the ghost cowboys come back. The ghost riders are back for revenge. And this movie is like entirely shot at daytime. Another one of those movies that seems like there was no budget for a night. Although I think like the only real night scenes are probably, I think some club scenes kind of like a little bit. Out, they go outside the pub. It's nighttime, and I think like the beginning is nighttime, but the rest of it's all daytime. It's very slow. The worst thing this thing does is it's slow in the middle. It kind of drags. We get these people from where they're at to where they need to be, and then the ghost people show up, and then finally for the last part of the movie, it picks up pretty well, and it's quite entertaining. And I mean. It's not like rocket science. They're not going to be making the smartest decisions you've ever seen. Of course, look what year it is when this was made. So you see people do dumb things, and you see some some fake outs. Then you see people die that you wouldn't think were going to die. But it's uh, it is it's okay for what it is. And that being said, two and a half, two and a half out of five, perfectly worth a, a good watch. Uh, although perhaps maybe even by eighties horror standards, some of the logic doesn't necessarily make a whole lot of sense. But it's 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 funny. In a way that if you watch it with a group of friends, or if you're partly drunk, you could probably have a, a lot better time with it than maybe you could if you watched it like I did sober. So, nonetheless, I still give it a two and a half sober. So, me drunk with a bunch of friends laughing at what we're seeing, this could be three territory. Who knows? But it's got a cool slip cover. It's got that underneath it, which is the same as a slip cover. It's got, well, I'll show the box, so the box might be easier. There's your, your back of it. When you pop the case open... You got that. No reverse cover, but I mean, they give you a slip case, so, you know. Extras include audio commentary, a making of, a uh, on-the-set vintage documentary from back in the day. Movie steals a behind-the-scenes original theatrical trailer and new reissued trailer. So, yeah, it's a movie that, even though I'm from the 80s, born in 1983, I've seen what I thought every horror movie you could think of from the 80s, but I'd never heard of it. And it's okay. It's, uh... It's, it feels almost at times like a movie you might see Vinegar Syndrome release. I don't know why it feels that way, but it kind of feels that way. But it's not Vinegar Syndrome. It's here through VCI Visual. And it's solid, but not perfect. And it's available right now. And as far as looks go, it looks a little rough. And it does look a little, little soft in, in some spots. But it's still cool to see something this obscure get a pretty cool little Blu-ray release for what it is.